things that motivates me as an investor slash entrepreneur. But I know when I achieve success, bingo. It's not easy to stay motivated. The key to motivation is routine. Now that may sound boring and mundane, but it's not. If you get into a healthy routine, and that includes a lot of things, like for me, it's getting up early, you know, working out 45 minutes to an hour every day. Routine is part of motivation. Every day you're going to get thrown a ton of shit is going to hit you, particularly if you're an entrepreneur. Even if you're just working in a job, you're going to get emails and texts about Nobody says, hey, you're doing a great job. I just want to send you an email. They say, here's five problems I'm having right now. And here's the storm I'm in today. Go fix it. That's generally 99% of your communications. So when you're working, you have to kind of categorize what you're going to deal with first. Now, to stay motivated, here's a little trick that I've used. Start your day with the biggest problem. When you've got all your energy, take it right out of the gate. Whatever it is, it's going to be some horrific problem. You've got to deal with it. Get it done first. Generally speaking, there's going to be five to seven things you have to do every day. You won't get them all done every week and every day, but you want to take the top three and nail them. And the trick to that is to do nothing else till you solve those problems. That's a big trick. I learned this years ago. I actually post this stuff the night before, a little sticky note, you know, right on the mirror. It's very, very useful. One of the biggest tricks of motivation is if you actually solve a big problem first, when you have all the energy at the beginning of the day, it actually motivates you to keep going. The other issue you've got to deal with motivation is be able to take a minute off. You know, sometimes when I'm just fried, frazzled, could be two in the afternoon, this is a trick. You just go sit in a chair and do something completely different. Listen to some tunes, take a snooze, read a book. It has nothing to do with the stuff you're doing during the day. Do not eat shitty food. You know, people say, oh, it's too expensive to eat good food. Not so. You really, really don't want to eat crap. Crap drags you down. Now, what's crap? Look, everybody likes to snack, but you can't eat crap. And you know what I'm talking about. Overly fatty, too much salt, too much sugar, too much snacking too many chocolates, all that stuff. You can indulge a little bit, but your core base of the three meals you eat during the day have to be good food. You cannot run the body with crap food. It just doesn't work. And you will learn this pretty damn fast. Otherwise, you're going to gain weight. So alcohol is something I love, but you want to stay motivated? Nothing really drags you down more than gaining weight, watching that scale move up. I'll tell you what really I love to do. After I work out, after I've had my shower, I weigh myself. And if I'm right where I was the day before, I'm loving it. I haven't gained any weight. I'm not trying to lose weight, just don't want to gain any. Another motivational factor. Set up a reward for yourself. Some goals take much longer. It's not something you're going to get done in a day. It could be three months. Whatever it is, maybe it's you want to break in with a new client, or maybe you want to achieve some goal that you know, you're a guitar player, you're a painter or something that you want to achieve on the yin. You know, you talk about the yin and yang side, play guitars, you see some guitars hanging up around here. Let's say I want to learn a new riff, a really complex lead, something in Steely Dan, which is really tough. That might take me a week or two to really nail it. So, you know, I, I can get through the whole thing perfectly. And then you got to keep practicing it. Otherwise you'll forget, you'll forget the, the whole thing. You'll forget the riff. But the point is, if you're going to get there, Maybe you say, okay, if, if I can play that perfectly, I'm going to buy myself another guitar. Now, I'm guilty of that because I got like 35 guitars. But it's kind of one of those things that you reward yourself by. And the other one in deals for me, when I work on a big deal, like something, a company that I'm starting up and I eventually take it public, that could take four, five, six years, or I do a big financing, what do I do? I always do the same thing. I buy a new watch. I got a lot of watches. And you know why I do that? Because I remember that deal with that watch. So that watch becomes part of that thing that I rewarded myself for. Now, the only problem with it is watches aren't cheap, but I buy good watches, so they appreciate in value. And after you buy about five, you don't need any more. But 
I keep buying watches. It's sort of like a little bit of a disease, but I love buying watches. And for most of the manufacturers now know I would need a red band because that's what I wear on television. So I got to go through the whole hassle of finding a perfect fitting red band. Now I don't own any of Rubber B, they're not a sponsor, but I only use Rubber B because the integration with the watch is perfect. Just a little sidebar there. But that's, that's part of my motivational trick. Now there's a, there's a watch I want to get. Um, it's a tourbillon. It's made by F.P. Journe. It's a vertical tourbillon, very, very rare. And whoa, is it expensive. Other problem is they probably are only going to make 10 of them. Now, I cannot buy that watch for myself until I achieve a great financial outcome in one of my deals. So that motivates me to go get something done. Now, in this case, I'm very optimistic about a certain deal that I'll probably be selling in a couple of months. And when that happens, what am I going to reward myself with? that F. P. Journe tourbillon. Now, I know that sounds crazy, but in my mind, that's a goal. And that watch will always be associated with that deal. And I'm working on that deal right now. I'm, don't do everything yourself. You just won't be successful. You can't do everything on your own because you don't have a 100% skill set. Nobody does. You got to find partners. You got to find allies. You have to find compadres that you're going to work with particularly in business. You know, all of my deals now, I never do them alone. I form a team and we'll often seed a company together. We're investors together and we work together towards success. I do that all the time, generally twice a year. So motivating yourself to engage with people, people enrich your lives. Even people you don't like to work with that you work with enrich your lives. They give you a different perspective, a different set of eyes. In investing, it's very important. You know, people ask me, why do you have advisors that you work with? I say, because I want to hear their perspective on my investments. I want to hear what they think. If all you do is listen to yourself, you'll make lots and lots of mistakes because you won't take those challenges. You won't take risks the same way, but you've got to hear from other people. So motivation is about keeping a network of people that help you motivate yourself. Very important. One more motivational hack for you. This is a good one. Someone taught this to me years ago make your goal public. In other words, tell a lot of people about it, which forces you into the commitment. Broadcast it. I am going to achieve this. I'm going to do that. I'm going to get this done. You know, it even could be weight loss. I'm going to lose five pounds, whatever it is. Broadcast it. And all of a sudden you own it because everybody's expecting you to deliver. It becomes part of your own personal accomplishments. It's a hack that really works. And you continue to broadcast it because you're committed to it. Because others are going to say, hey, you said you were going to lose five pounds. You said you're going to do this deal or you were going to invest in that. Or you were going to learn how to play that riff or you were going to paint that painting or you were going to read that book. Did you do it? Believe me, when others call you out on it, it really motivates you. Try it. Definitely works. When you set a, a series of goals up, you know, if you're going to do your five things a day, make sure at least three of them are things that interest you and two are things you didn't want to do, but you have to. If all you have are tasks you hate, it's really hard to stay motivated. So you've got to blend them together. It's really, for me, it's usually five a day, three of which I really want to do, and two really suck, but I get them done anyways. You're always going to have things you don't want to do, you have to do. You've got to call this guy or call this person, whatever. You have to put it in there, but blend it in with some stuff you want to do. Things that interest you, give you lots of energy. Things you don't want to do, you keep procrastinating, which is horrible. You got to deal with the, the tough stuff too, but mix it up. Mix it up.